What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and a lot of people always say truth. Can you explain this whole thing about the rap game? It's the most dangerous job in the world. All I see is people wearing Balenciaga sweaters, wearing expensive shoes, getting money, and living the life. Yeah, that might be on the outside looking in, but on the inside looking in, this shit can be dangerous, you know? Think about this. You can get, you have enemies, you got ops, you got people that want to ride up on you, put that blink on you, and shit like that, right? Well, when you're a rapper, everybody know where you're going to be at. You got a show. You're going to promote it. You're going to put it on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all kind of social media platforms. You're even going to pay other people to promote it. So everybody know exactly where you're going to be at. More than likely, you're a rapper. You got blitz, you smoking weed, you doing all kind of shit. So you're probably being protected by your homeboys and not real security. So you can be touched. A motherfucker could be waiting on you to come out that door. So just because you're a rapper and you got a lot of money, don't make you safe. We done seen that in plenty of instances. You know, this rap shit get dangerous. A lot of these young brothers got this money. You know, they get it early, too. So you got guys who ain't fully grown, man, and said they got this bad. You know, it put them in a different, different mindset. A lot of people don't understand that shit. You know, rap could get very dangerous. You know, a lot of people don't like to see young people with that kind of money. And most of them be big headed and shit. They don't be respectful and shit. But that's not all of them. You can't put all the rappers on everybody. But this rap shit, it became dangerous. To be honest, I don't even believe it's a such thing as the rap game no more. The rap is the streets. You know, that's where it's at now. If you want to see somebody, you want to see your enemy, you want to beef with your enemy, you want to get the get back, more than likely, you're not going to be able to find them outside anymore. You're going to have to go to the internet. You know what I'm saying? You want to have an argument face to face with him, you're going to have to go to Instagram. You want to send him a thread where he understand what the fuck going on, you're going to have to DM him. The world has jumped on the internet and rappers, you know, they run the internet. I tell people that. You know, it's been a lot of rappers who have been shot and killed in the year 2022. It's been going on. Don't get me wrong, this shit been going on. It's to the point now, if you got a young man that say he want to be a rapper, look, you probably should want to teach him something else because this rap shit ain't got dangerous. It's been over 20 rappers shot and killed um, throughout the whole industry. There's other rappers that have lost their life due to other kind of problems. There's rappers who survived shootings and all kind of shit. This shit then got very dangerous. It was once upon a time, you know, uh, Tupac lost his life. We were saying it's hell for that for about 30 years. Now, this shit is happening every two, three days. You know, we're going to talk about this on the board today. I'm going to give you a little breakdown. I'm going to tell you about a lot of rappers who lost their life. Some we don't know. Some that just came across the board because they had a buzz and shit like that. Um, you got a guy named Snooty Wow. Pretty sure we all know who this is. This is another guy who was killed. All right? This is another rapper that's just living his life. Um, he was shot and killed. We all heard the story about trouble. All right. We all heard the story about him. He has some lady house. He just chilling in there. Her ex-boyfriend or whoever the fuck he is. He busts in the door. They get into an altercation. He blew trouble down. He run up in the crib and blink him down and shit. He jealous as hell. He mad as hell. Now check this out, fellas. You know, these ladies be lying. And even if they is done with their man, they man be so hard, quenched, so hurt. You can't just be going over no bitch crib. You can't just be going over nobody crib, man. You got to grill her, put her through an hour test, a survey, a SAT test or something. Your life can be at risk for this shit, you know. Y'all might be broken up, but not in his head. He see you in the house in his bed. You know, he going to up the blick on you. You fuck around, lose your life. Trouble was killed. Gun down. On some dumb shit. We all seen the story about Jay the Youngin. He actually on the front porch of his people crib. Gunmans, uh, they ambush him two different ways. All right? He lost his life due to gun violence. He was on the blog sites every day. His death was senseless as hell. We can't forget about the guy from New York. He was buzzing. T. Dot Wu. He was buzzing. Somehow, I believe he was in New York. I could be wrong, but I believe he was in New York, caught in the drive-by. Some, some people shot him up. He ended up losing his life due to gun violence. We're going to put an asterisk on these because K. Slay, he ended up losing his life. But I believe it was due to COVID. 
So I don't think, me personally, I don't think that was no gun shit. I don't think that's no violence. I think K. Slade lost his life due to COVID, just like Lil' Key lost his life due to health problems. So we're going to put health problems. And we'll put asterisks on them. But as you can see, the board is already showing you that, you know, rappers are losing their life in this field of work. You know? To be honest with you, it's showing you that sometimes, you know, fuck all that using your homeboys as security. You famous, your homeboys need security. You need security for you and security for your homeboys. So you don't put your homeboy who's just a regular dude, who not a superstar rapper like you, who got kids, a wife, a family. You don't put him in a position where he's going to do 50 years for shooting somebody with an unregistered ass gun. Come on now, we got to protect the homies and don't put him in bad positions. PMB Rock. Man getting some food, somebody killed him. Man, you can't be in no restaurant eating no food. Man, he know better than that. I don't know why in the fuck he go in that restaurant. He know that one is one of the worst restaurants ever. Fuck all that. How about some dirty ass, nothing ass nigga killing this man in front of his motherfucking girl for some jewelry that he not gonna be able to sell? Useless sisters. You understand that? PMB Rock family was fucking stolen from. You understand that? They ain't deserve to lose their fucking son that day for some goofy ass nigga who not gonna be able to sell that chain. Let's be honest with that shit. Take off. Take off. There's a guy who was just arrested for take off, uh, for, for just being there. Gunned down. Alright? It's a guy who was arrested, Lil' Kim, who people saying had something to do with it. Lil' Kim was arrested for gun charges and not take off murder, which lead me to believe it's more to the story. Whoever that guy was holding that blitz standing next to the me, go, Lil' Kim finna tell on you. I'm telling you that. Lil' Kim finna tell on you because the fans and the police is putting all this shit on Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim feel like he ain't did it. Lil' Kim finna tell on that nigga who had that gun. Just like Lil' Kim got arrested, why that nigga who had that gun next to the me goes ain't get arrested? But who am I? I'm just truth telling. And I'm letting you know. This shit is getting dangerous. As you can see, the board, the board is trying to show you that guys and women, women, yeah, I said women, a lot of cash. That's the shot and killed in Houston. Her daddy, Hernandez Govan, is the guy who the police locked up and said arranged the whole murder on Young Dog. Even though that was last year, I'm going to put an asterisk, but it's connected to this. All right? So her daddy is locked up for calling the hit on Young Dog. I wonder if her murder had something to do with it. Even though she was killed in Houston, I wonder. Because somebody wanted Dog dead, and they say her daddy did it. You understand that? But as you can see, the board, rappers are coming off the board, and they're losing their life at an all-time high. We seen this trend on the internet. They put his body in the club. Good news. They put his body in the club. That was one of his last wishes to be in the club when he died. And they did that to him. He went viral on all the platforms. We can't forget the legend, LBG Cash. Now remember, I'm going to forget a lot of names. It's a lot of names that's not going to make this board because so many people have lost their life due to gun violence. We can't forget the legendary LBG Cash. I believe FBG Cash was on his way to superstardom in the drill culture. Drill was becoming the face of the rap game, and Cash was blowing up in the drill culture. Unfortunately, he lost his life due to gun violence early in the morning. Shit still rubbed me the wrong way. Don't understand what happened with that. We can't forget about Chicago rapper YB. Lost his life downtown. Dope artist. I used to use this music as my theme song. Memo 600 said he was one of the first people who put him in the studio or put him in the video on the song. One of them things. I interviewed so many artists, but I don't remember exactly which one. We can't forget battle rap legend Pat Stay. He was stabbed. Remember, overseas, out of town, not in these countries. When you're in a different place, they don't really do the guns like that. You'll get stabbed. Pat Stay was stabbed to death. One of the best battle rappers of all time. Still don't understand why did something like that happen, but that happened. We can't forget Wavy Navy Pooh. Not sure if you know your rap shit, but if you know your rap shit, then you know Wavy Navy Pooh end up losing his life. Then you know Jay Stash end up losing his life. 
You see what I'm saying? This shit getting to the point where damn names is coming on the board. This shit almost feel like an NFL draft. Rap is dangerous. All right? Look at this shit. More and more. Names keep coming off the board. It's keep coming off the board. Let's go back to Chicago, okay? King Tack. Shot and killed. Benji. Real close to Fendi Boy. All right? Killed. All right? We seen Benji Mother's Day. They said he was going to get something for his mother. Came back. Somebody gunned him down. City of Chicago. Real close to uh, Fendi Boy. His death was profiled on NBC. All kind of shit. It was very sad. We recently just seen on the news about EBK Juvie Rubber. Okay. I want y'all to see. It's so many people losing their life. I don't even got that much room on my board no more. That shit is getting out of hand if you get exactly what I'm saying. We can't forget Taekwon Real Lute. That recently just happened. I thought he was dope. When I interviewed him, he had a real good energy. But I knew he wanted to play play. This guy got hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube just off laughs. Imagine if he would have focused on the music. Just think about that. I believe he would have had a career. This shit made a lot of money. Lil Ron. West Side. I believe he was going through some. I think they called it a suicide. But Lil Ron, dope artist. Real cool with Chirac bands. You know. It's a lot of love for Lil Ron. You know. I think Lil Ron could have made it big in this rap shit too. He had that energy. It was something about him that you can clearly tell he was going to blow up. You know. In my opinion. He had that West Side feel about him. He was crazy. He had that energy. Him and Shy Rock Bands was like Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. And we can't forget this one because this was all on news. Duke the Jeweler. All right? Duke the Jeweler. The J. Prince Brothers was around this situation too. All right? J. Prince Brothers was there when Duke the Jeweler lost his life. They was there when Takeoff uh, lost his life. I got Takeoff going for when Takeoff lost his life. And Lotto Cash Desto lost her life in Houston, Texas. So, it's shit going on in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Now, these are just the rappers that just come off the top of my fucking head now. Y'all gonna say, Truth, you missed this person. You missed that person. You missed that person. I would need 20 motherfucking boards if I was to tell you all the rappers that I missed on here. Because it's a lot of people that's affiliated with rappers. A lot of people, brothers who was affiliated with the culture who end up losing their life. I believe OTF Timo, Big Brother, or somebody he called his Big Brother, end up losing their life. So, it's a lot of room still left on my board. But I want to be honest with you. This rap shit is dangerous, you know? You could be gunned down. You can be shot and killed, especially when it ain't no labels no more. And Oz to teach artist development, teach you how to move around once you get a buzz, once you get some money. You know, that left like out this Sosa. In my opinion, Sosa had a lot of influence from the and Oz. That's the reason he left. Reason he wasn't around anymore to get in any trouble. He had people who've been in the business for years whispering his ear and saying, hey, man. And you never seen them no more. That's why Lil Durk got a deal. He was able to be safe. Sosa got a deal. He was able to be safe. G Herbo got a deal. He moved the fuck away. He was able to be safe. Everybody else was still in the hood. You know? I tell people that. Uh, but this rap shit get dangerous. I wanted to show you that. As you can see, that's a lot of people who lost their life for the year 2022. And this year not even over with. And it's not even all the rappers. This is all I can think of. But, uh, in my opinion, this board is very sad. And I do think rappers are targets. But I think you even a bigger target if you're a rapper that does the diss music. Keep the donations to yourself. It's hard out here. You don't got no time to be giving me your baby snack money or whatever the hell you want to do nice for your baby. Tomorrow Saturday, you might want to surprise him and take him to the movies. You ain't got no time to be giving me that money. I'm a grown-ass man. I run into some hard times. I run into a problem. Need to figure out some shit. I figure it out on my own. You want to support me, you hit that like button. Bing! When you hit that like button, guess what it do? It make my videos grow and a lot of people be able to see them. I appreciate the love. It's the homie troop telling the street reporter. Bitch, bitch.